Hello, hello. So I just discovered that uh, Twitch actually support 5.1 audio, or in other words, surround sound. And I thought I'd show you how to set this up for OBS and stuff. But before you do OBS stuff, you need to set up Windows settings first. And I have a surround sound amplifier connected to my computer. So there's a um, uh, HDMI cable going from my uh, gra graphics card to my amplifier, my external amplifier. And you need to set that up for surround sound first. So you get the speaker here at the bottom at the clock. You right click on it. You go to sound settings. And over here you scroll down to the bottom and you have these more sound settings. Now you can close this one because you only need this one. And over here it shows up all your playback devices. I'm am on the playback tab here. And yeah, you got my headphones, my monitors, and you got the voice meter. Um, I got the voice meter potato as a surround sound or a sound mixer. I'll show you how it works here too. Uh, yes, yeah, so you got everything here. You got my microphone. What you're looking for is um, your surround sound device. Uh, when I connect my amplifier to the computer, it show up as a playback device. It only showed up as HTR2071, so I added Yamaha to it. But what you do here is that you right click on it and you select configure speakers. And this is going to mess up the audio a little bit, um, <laughs> but I'm going to do a reset. So by default, it's set to stereo. And this is why people have problems to actually get <laughs> surround sound to work. Uh, so it's, yeah, by default, it's just stereo, uh, but you need to do, um, Depending on your system, you might have a 7.1 7 surround sound. My amplifier is just 5.1. So I got two options here, depending on the uh, surround speakers here. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much. I just have it like this. Then you press next and you select yeah, the optional speakers. Yes, I got center, subwoofer and side, side pair. To just check them and then full range speakers so uh, full range speakers are basically those big uh, floor speakers uh, kind of uh, if you have only have small bookshelf speakers or satellite speakers just uncheck this uh, but i have big uh, speakers front speakers and surround, so I just full range. And next, and you're basically done. So let's see and finish. And the audio might be weird here. I just that anyway. So yeah, and you're done basically. So this is for the window settings, so it actually sends out. 5.1 audio to your amplifier. And now if you look at your soundbar or amplifier, it should now show uh, all channels. I have also a voice meter potato. So I also need to set up surround sound on these. And uh, the only, I have set it up on everyone here, but the most important one for me is the voice meter input. Because this, as you can see, it's green, uh, the green circle. Uh, this is my default device and also default communication device. So you do the same thing here with this one, uh, configure speakers. I'm not going to do it here. It's just the same thing uh, as previous. So that's what you need to do uh, in Windows to get it to work. So now you actually get, get in the voice mini potato, you also get surround sound, but there's 
a little bit of a caviar, or caviar, what do you call it? <laughs> a little bit of a uh, weird issue. You see these five inputs here, and then you got three sort of virtual inputs. Um, these five inputs uh, to the left here uh, can only handle stereo. So they can't handle surround sound. Surround sound, the 5.1 uh, are six channels in total, and stereo is two channels. So yeah, these uh, five inputs can only handle handle two channels, which is a a bummer. <laughs> I would like all of them to handle everything. Uh, these three three though uh, can handle multi-channel, and that's why I have the, sort of the desktop audio here as well, and also the browser. I used to have my browser on the, one of these inputs. Um, and when I tried 5.1 audio on in the browser thing, it didn't work and I couldn't figure out why. And that's because these five channels only support two channels. So I actually moved it to the uh, voice media aux uh, device here. Same thing with the VLC player. Uh, it can handle multi-channel audio. So that's why I put it here. And yeah, I have at the top, you can see that I actually selected my external amplifier as sending audio to, and that's the number A1 here. So everywhere it says A1, it's sending audio to my amplifier. And yeah. <laughs> So that's how it works. So these three are for the multi-channel. So when you play games, for example, uh, that game will uh, play audio to the regular default device, which is the desktop. So I get surround sound in games, a lot of games at least. So the other channels here, I have the microphone, that's just a mono. So it can be here, same thing with music, it's just regular stereo. Um, Works just fine. So that's voice meter. If you got voice meter and then OBS. So put you over here. A little bit like this, maybe. Uh, yeah, I usually have this uh, OBS maximized. So this is my Twitch chat. I set it up for Twitch. Uh, so what you need to do. It's uh, click the settings button here at the bottom right. And yeah, I'll stream. I have Twitch. I live in Sweden, so I use a server for that. And then you go to audio to the, on the left here. And it's grayed out for me right now, and that's because I'm recording. But uh, yeah, the sample rate default, I think, is 48 kilohertz. And if you're going to have surround sound, you need to set it at 48 kilohertz. And channels here, by default, it says stereo. But if you click on this row, you get sort of a menu, a drop down menu. And you can select 5.1 and 7.1. But um, YouTube and Twitch support 5.1. So if you have a 7.1 system, I guess uh, you need to select 5.1 anyway. Because otherwise, if you send 7.1 to Twitch, it might be weird. Their, their encoder just don't know what to do with it, and the audio might be wrong. <laughs> so you need to select uh, 5.1 here. And yes, I have everything disabled here because I use a different system for audio. And you also need to go in the output here, in the audio. Uh, yeah, you can see it's grayed out because I'm recording, but you have all these tracks here and you need to change this to 384 bitrate, 384. Uh, it's, uh, at least it's recommended if you're going to stream to YouTube uh, to have it at 384. Uh, if you're going to stream 5.1 audio. 
that's what you need to do in OBS. And when you actually change this to 5.1, you get this warning here saying that not every streaming service is supporting it, but it says, yeah, YouTube Live support it, but it says nothing about Twitch, but uh, it does work because I did a uh, sort of a test stream to Twitch with these settings and it actually works. When I play the VOD back, uh, I actually get to run sound. Uh, I think if you don't have a 5.1 system and play the VOD, um, you should be getting stereo. So I think uh, Twitch will actually do a down mix to stereo. So yeah, get warning here. And also when you change this uh, 5.1, it's going to say that, well, you OBS need to be restarted for it, for it to take effect. So you need to restart OBS. And the next time you start OBS, you will get all of these sort of sound bars. And now you have surround sound on each channel here. Uh, you can see this is my microphone and I set it to uh, mono in the voice meter. And when I set up uh, in the input, uh, it will send to all channels. But if you just play, for example, the browser, it's just stereo, you, you, you just get two bars here. So right now I actually have this little file, it's a test file uh, with 5.1 audio. So uh, when I play this, uh, just look at the VLC bar here, you can see we're going to see that the different bars goes up and down. So yeah, I will shut up now and just play it. Front left, front center, front right, right surround, left surround. You've been listening to the Fraunhofer HEAAC audio codec operating at a bitrate of 160 kilobits per second for 5.1 channels. Front left, front center. All right. So if you actually have or you watch this video on a TV with the YouTube app, you might have the option to actually set the audio to 5.1 audio. If you just watch this on a browser, you actually will just get a down mix to stereo. But you can see at least um, the bars in OBS, it will uh, be for, or it show 5.1 audio at least. And if you uh, play this on Twitch, the VOD, uh, yeah, you also get surround sound. So. <laughs> So if you have a surround sound system on your computer, I suggest you can do this. I uh, do a lot of recordings for YouTube and I always record 5.1. So if people have a surround sound system, they uh, will get, get surround sound. Uh, otherwise it will, or YouTube will automatically down mix to stereo. But that's how you kind of set it up. Uh, kind of a long video about that, but uh, yeah, this is how you actually set it up for Twitch as well. And also the recordings. So yeah, catch you later.